Hey, Walter Sorrell's back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, reviewing the new WeCreate 45 Watt Vision Pro Laser Engraver. Now, I'm on record as a fan of laser engravers for knife makers, but is the WeCreate right for you? Well, what I will say before I even get started is that this laser is really well thought out and it includes a ton of pro level features that most consumer lasers don't. Is a laser engraver for you? Let's talk about the new WeCreate laser engraver and see what it's all about. Now, if you're new to lasers, just quickly, let's talk about what laser engravers are and what they can do for you. Basically, a laser engraver allows you to control a laser very much like you would control a 3D printer, allowing you to you know, design some stuff on your computer and then print, engrave, cut a wide variety of materials. Now, we'll get into the weeds on all that in a minute. So, let's start by talking about the specs for the engraver. The WeCreate Vision Pro is a self-contained laser in its own cabinet that runs a 45 watt blue light diode laser. It's got a work area, that's basically the area that you can print if you wanna use that term, of 19.7 by 12.6 inches on a 22.83 by 15.75 inch bed. And the basic physical footprint of the entire thing is about 21 by 26 inches. It comes with an integrated enclosure, air assist, uh, an HD camera, a vent fan, vent hose, uh, an auto focusing system. Now the unit claims to cut 25 millimeter, that's about one inch softwoods in one pass. More on that later. Uh, it also comes bundled with WeCreate Make It software. That's WeCreate's own software that allows you to design and print on the machine. The current price is $21.99 US, though obviously these things fluctuate a lot. Outside this price, it also has a bunch of useful add-ons, including an infrared laser unit, a rotary unit that you can use for doing cups and other round objects like that, uh, and a very large pass-through conveyor, which allows you to move big old items through there and print you know, something larger than the basic footprint of the machine. And finally, an air filtration system. So let me quickly show you how it works, and then I'll talk a little bit about what distinguishes this from a lot of the lower end type consumer lasers that are out there. There's a nice bed in the laser, so you just set your work down on there. Then you hit the autofocus button in the WeCreate software, and the head moves to whatever position your artwork is in on the canvas. It focuses the laser, and then goes back to the home position. Once you got everything positioned the way you want it, you cue it up, hit the green button, and it starts lasering away at whatever it's focused on. If you're unsure where you need to position the item you're engraving, you can get a preview thanks to the enclosed camera that'll show you your artwork overlaid with a view of the bed and whatever's in it. It's very simple and straightforward to use. What can you print? Basically anything, images, vector graphics, whatever. Setup is also pretty straightforward. It's a pretty plug and play item, though of course you have to install drivers and do a little fritzing around with the software. And I will say in my case, I actually had some issues with my computer recognizing the laser, but it all sorted itself out eventually. And I've found that with most lasers, there are always some minor headaches in getting them to play nice with your computer. So the diode blue light laser is used to mark and cut wood, plastic, leather, and steel. Now the simplest and most obvious use for knife makers is in making logos and other markings on knives. You can actually etch things into the blade, etch things into the handle, whatever. Now for years, I spent quite a bit of time individually etching every single one of my blades with my logo using an electro etching system. Let me tell you, once you start using a laser, you will never go back to electro etching. It's just hugely superior in just about every way.
By the way, I'm using WeCreate software here, but you can also use the industry standard Lightburn software. Here are some of my knife blades that I marked before putting handles on them. Nice crisp lines, no smoke or spatter, dark blacks, exactly what I was hoping for. And I can do the same thing with wooden handles on these scabbard chisels that I make for carving Japanese sword scabbards. Some kinds of lasers, like fiber lasers, will not do both wood and steel, so big advantage to diode lasers if this is what you're really looking for. As I said, the laser also cuts wood. Now, I tried a wide variety of woods, and it did pretty well across the spectrum. It'll cut what's pretty much the standard item in laser engraving, which is three millimeter basswood. I mean, it'll just do that all day long. It'll do it fast, it'll do it efficiently. It's great for that. But it'll handle much more challenging cutting operations too, the kind of things that would actually be more useful for knife makers. Check out what I did here. I'm making knife handle blanks by producing two jigsaw puzzle type designs, swapping out the maple and the walnut, and gluing them together to create these pretty cool looking knife handle blanks. Now I really just kind of threw these together so you can imagine there are just a million different things that you could do like this. What I will say though is that it confirms something I've noticed in the past, which is that I have more issues with charring on dark woods, and that left some little voids in certain places. Maple, for instance, is a pretty dense wood, but it's light colored, and the We Create cut it extremely cleanly and efficiently. Now, this is one critical limitation of diode lasers. They are limited in what materials that they can mark. Steel, stainless, carbon, tool steel, oh yeah, all of the above. You wanna engrave leather or kydex for sheaths, great for that, absolutely. How about non-ferrous metals like copper, brass, aluminum? Well, that's where this little unit comes in. It's an infrared laser. Meaning that with this one unit, you can now work with non-ferrous metals, allowing you to add engraving to brass fittings, aluminum parts, whatever. One qualification. While this is a swappable part, there are some very tiny little multi-pin connectors and a wire harness that have to be unplugged and replugged to mount the unit. Honestly, I found them to be uncooperative enough to change that I can tell you I wouldn't be swapping this unit in and out on the regular. So for me, this is a wood, plastic, and steel unit. Look, there are like a zillion lasers out there these days, some of them, you know, cheaper than this one. The most basic lasers in the market are spindly little machines, small footprints, and they basically nickel and dime you on all the add-ons. And here's the first place that that impacts you. If you're gonna do any cutting, they produce a lot of smoke. You just really can't blast away on one of these things in your house without a vent. For a vent to work effectively, you need an enclosure. It'll keep all that smoke contained. You can see how much effort went into even this very crude enclosure I made for another laser of mine. The We Create enclosure, on the other hand, is easy to get into. It includes shielding to protect your eyes, and it has an integrated fan. Way better than cobbling all this stuff together yourself. So you might spend less on another model, but here's the problem. Then you end up buying a separate air assist, a separate exhaust fan, hoses, clamps, uh, you're buying or you're building an enclosure. All this stuff adds up and it's a hassle. Here, it's all done for you from the get-go. And this way, there's no danger of your kids or your pets just wandering in and getting their eyes hurt. Not a knife maker? The We Create has some bona fide pro features like a pass-through conveyor, which, full disclosure, I did not get around to testing it because it's just frankly not something that, you know, I need as a knife maker. But the basic idea is that it allows you to run an 18-inch wide material up to like 10 feet long through the machine. So it's got a conveyor system that kind of shuttles the thing back and forth while the laser is engraving. So you can make really big signs, all kinds of cool stuff on here. It's a really pretty cool feature if you want to, you know, make big signs or if you want to do uh, art, things that you can hang on the wall. I'm sure it's great for all that, but like I say, I didn't actually test one of those out. So let's sum it up. The main disadvantage of this laser, let's get it out of the way at the top, is that it's more expensive than many lasers in the 
what you might generally call the, the consumer class. But in fairness, it just destroys most consumer level uh, lasers in performance. It's very powerful, it cuts nice clean lines, it handles fairly thick wood, it's fantastic on steel, and it's great on fume evacuation. This is a really big deal. A lot of people kind of tend to discount this when they first get a laser until they actually start running it and they set off the fire alarm in their house. The we create includes a lot of nice features that you know you normally have to go out and buy uh, like a really nice bed. I mean it seems trivial but it's the sort of thing that you end up having to buy onesie twosie with most consumer lasers. The we create also gives you the option of marking non-ferrous metals with the infrared laser head. So if you're a knife maker and you want a wraparound solution that will not require you to chase around after enclosures and aftermarket fans and hoses and just all this stuff, you just plug it in and you get rocking, this could well be the solution for you. Now, if you're not a knife maker, this is a laser with pro level features at a competitive price. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com